As you guys probably already know, I am a huge fan and connoisseur and advocate for lightweight discs. So when I heard Latitude 64 is going to be coming out with the Zero Gravity line, which we have four discs from that line today, you know that's gonna pique my interest. You know that's something I'm gonna be excited for. And when I opened the package and I pulled these out, I looked at the bottom of these discs. We've got 129 gram pure. We've got a 124 gram Explorer. We've got 126 gram Fuse. And then we have a Saint here, not a Saint Pro, just a Saint clocking in at 125 grams. So all four of these discs are sitting in the 120s as far as the weight goes. And I'm a huge fan, like I said before, of lightweight discs. I think lightweight discs is sort of an untapped aspect to most players' games. And I think lightweight discs can open up some new shot shapes for you that you may never been able to get before with max weight discs. So I also have a 156 gram fuse, and then I have a max weight explorer so we can compare a lightweight to a middleweight or a max weight version of it. I am way too excited. I need to give these a throw. Let's start off with the pure. I'm just gonna trust it. I'm gonna assume that this is not a paper plate and that it actually is kind of stable. I did not give that any height, but it also did not want to turn over literally at all. We've got the fuse here, 126. Let's put this up in the air. Oh, stop turning. Okay. That's a good tree. That was gonna go all the way into the water on the right, never to be seen again. This saint, I don't trust nearly as much. We're gonna put this on a lot of hyzer. Oh, that is sick. But surprisingly, the pure seem pretty stable. I'm gonna have to go and throw them back the other way. But the fuse and the saint are pretty understable. And then we've got 124 gram Explorer. Now this is probably the one I'm the most excited about. What excites me is discs that are traditionally stable in lighter weights, because they're gonna have a little more torque resistance and you're gonna be able to do some really special things with them. Right, I'm gonna trust this flat. Hit myself in the microphone holding a huge turn in the mid flight. That was definitely gonna start swinging back at the end. I have to go grab those and throw them back. And lucky for you guys, I did move to a new unit, but this property here is still going to be accessible to me. So you can expect most disc reviews to still be out on this little private golf course area, which I'm actually really happy about as, you know, moving. I was concerned that I wasn't gonna have a really awesome place to film but I'm actually in a location that allows me to still use this and it's very close and convenient for me. So hit the like button, leave a comment. Let me know you guys are excited that I'll still be out on this golf course here. All right, I need to trust this pure. I'm gonna go power grip nice and high. Whoa. I mean, that is a beefcake pure. That is some shocking stability from 120 gram pure. Let's try the fuse on a similar line here. Oh, I kind of off axis torqued the heck out of that thing, but definitely a lot harder to control than the pure. That lightweight pure is absolutely incredible. All right, let's try the 156 gram Opto Air fuse. I mean, that's honestly borderline a beefcake fuse. I threw that pretty hard with a power grip. Did not want to turn really at all. And then the Saint is probably the only one of the bunch that is like true paper plate status. Oh, that thing is sick for turnovers though. For any new players, um, any junior players, anyone with a really slow arm, you're absolutely going to love that lightweight zero gravity saint. All right, explore. Let's trust this thing flat with a bit of height. Oh, okay. 
Great Heiser flip disc, definitely more torque resistant than I expected it would be. But I definitely think I need a Heiser flip that one. And now we got the max weight, fancy plastic Grand Slam Explorer. <laughs> that thing might need to go in my bag. That Explorer is sick and it absolutely bombs. All right, I'm, I'm having way too much fun. We need to grab those. We need to throw them at least one more time. All right, so I guess I should give you guys a couple of updates. I did, in fact, move to a new unit. So I haven't filmed or uploaded in, I think, a week now. I uploaded one or two YouTube shorts that were just kind of ready to go on my phone. But ever since that last forehand tutorial I put out, which you guys have shown some really good support for, which I really appreciate, um, I haven't really uploaded in like a week. So I'm super pumped to be back at it, throwing again. I still have access to this nice private golf course to film on. Things are looking pretty cruisy for the future of Iceberg TV, so I'm super pumped to, you know, get back at it. I feel refreshed and excited after a nice one-week break, which I haven't actually taken in a long time. All right, I'm going to give you guys a quick breakdown of each disc and give everything one last throw, and then we'll wrap up the video for today. Just to talk about the zero-gravity plastic, it feels like that really, really awesome old school DX plastic. So if you play disc golf in the early to mid 2000s, any pre-flight number Innova DX disc, it wasn't like crappy DX like what we get nowadays. It was like this stiff, durable, and grippy DX plastic. And I've thrown sp specifically the DX Panther came in this like really grippy DX plastic. To me, that's what these feel like. They're nice and grippy. They feel durable. They're not quite a full-on premium blend. They definitely have like a baseline feel to them, but it's like a durable and grippy baseline feel. So that's the plastic. This Pure is probably the most surprising disc of them all. Again, power grip, full power, just flat with height. Maybe I'm just a weakling, but... That Pure is more stable than a max weight Pure, in my opinion. And then we've got the Flip Dog Fuse, which I will throw super filthy hyzer flip with. Late turn machine. Still, still finished way right. That thing's pretty flippy, I'll be totally honest. Then we've got this Opto Air Fuse, which is then surprisingly beefy. That's another one that may need to go back in the bag. That Opto Air Fuse, I actually aced with that at a local league day at Bradford Disc Golf Course. I don't know why I took it out of my bag. I actually really like that disc. So we've got the Zero Gravity Explorer. Perfect for hyzer flips. If you already bag an Explorer, but you want a flippy one to go alongside it, you could either bag that or the Brave. That lightweight Explorer, the Zero Gravity Explorer, to me flies very similar to the new Royal Brave. I guess we'll throw the Max Weight Explorer and then we'll throw the Flippy Saint. I love that Max Weight Explorer. That thing's sick. I think it's Opto Glimmer. And then we got Flip Dog Saint. This thing needs so much height and so much hyzer. Oh, that's, I mean, you can shape some absolutely filthy, disgusting lines with that thing. But anyway, guys, I'm happy to be back. Zero gravity line from Latitude 64. Absolute fire. I am totally going to mess with that pure. I'm going to put it in my bag and see how it beats up and performs over time. But I'm super excited to see some 120 gram, potentially some 130 grams, um, becoming a little more mainstream, coming onto the market. I think it's going to expand people's shot shaping ability and increase your skill ceiling. If you can have like one or two kind of cheeky, super lightweight discs in your bag, whether you help them or whether they help you throw farther, whether you can throw a new shot shape with them, I definitely think it's something worth checking out and adding to your bag. I personally really like the Pure, the Fuse, and the Explorer. The Saint is a little bit too flippy for me, but if you have a super slow arm, you're new to disc golf, or you want a disc that is like a guaranteed hyzer flip, then that Saint could be a really great option for you as well. Shout out to Power Grip USA for sponsoring today's video. You guys are watching Iceberg TV. Thank you so much for watching my channel and take care.